So the next uh, piece I'm going to take care of right now is the Yahoo weather feed. Essentially, I want a little widget or something that just fits right in that div container that's going to be weather, and I want it to have um, the latest weather report on there for the day. Um, well, there's a plugin I bumped into for jQuery. What was it? Uh, Yahoo weather jQuery plugin and it was yeah it's in fact this one this Z weather feed now I like this one because essentially it looks really nice right out right right out of the gate without much screwing around uh, let me see if I could find oh, maybe this is it here's the home page of it yeah and it's really straightforward to use and there's and you know as long as you have a basic understanding of jQuery and how these plugins work. I think you could get this uh, plugged in in, in uh, five ten minutes. So let me just you know go right on through this thing. So uh, features, okay. This is just telling me what it has. That's cool. Uh, download. All right. Let me start by downloading the files. I'll save them to my desktop. We'll check out what's in there in a minute. Getting started. Um, Okay, so we need jQuery. We we got that, and we need this Z Weather Feed plugin, and obviously we just downloaded that. So let's let's investigate. Okay, let's see what we have in our demo. Here's our example page. This will give us an idea what this is going to look like. That's pretty cool. That's way cool. So I mean, these are already like already like nicely packaged for us. And what's interesting when when I open up the files that I got, you could see that there's actually no no graphics files in there. Which that I mean, I'm assuming then if these things are if there's no graphic files over here, I'm assuming that these graphics are must be getting pulled from from Yahoo because I mean I certainly don't have them on my computer. So. Um, all right, that's good. That's good. So let's let's see what we actually need to do. Let's let's start going through this thing. And you know, step one after we download it, let's hook it into our web page. So first, include the jQuery and Z Weather Feed libraries. All right. So let me see Z Weather Feed. Let me go to my website um, here. So since I'm done with the footer section, I'm going to create a copy of it, and I'll put right here. As you could tell, I did it before this weather.complete, but I'll put weather.working so I know that's the file I'm currently working on. Okay. And in here, so what do I need to do? I need to put my weather feed, which one? The weather feed to minimize is the one I want, yeah, as opposed to the regular one, which is just neatly formatted. But I'm not really going to be doing, at least I don't think for now, I'm not going to do any screwing around in here. So I'll just take this minified version and pop it into my scripts folder. Yeah, oh, my, I need this CSS as well. Okay, you know, just out of curiosity. So is this... Mm, wow, I mean that's that's some pretty that's some pretty simple code over here as far as the CSS goes. I mean if you look at it, we've worked with plugins before where uh, you have graphics and all that either either referenced in the jQuery or in the CSS. But I guess the Yahoo Weather plugin doesn't need either to function, so they must be hosting that on their end. Uh, that works great. All right, let me. Because I'm going about I'm about to link to this in my in my HTML in Dreamweaver. I'll just uh, copy this into my clipboard, and let me go ahead and um, let's see weather dot working. Here's the one. So, okay, let me go to my split view, and what I'm going to do is right where my other well, let me start this way. Where my other CSS links are, I'm just gonna go in and and uh, use. Make sure to use what I paid for with Dreamweaver, which is this code hinting. Working CSS jQuery. Okay, 
Um, all right, style sheets, media screen, perfect. Now I need to hook in that JavaScript file. And let's see what I get. Scripts, here we go. The weather feed. All right. 